Tell me if I got a shadow on my face and I'll move myself. I'm probably gonna have to move too. Alright, quiet, 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 quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chess Now, episode 57, broadcasting live from New York City's public access TV studio, Manhattan Neighborhood Network, or October 22nd, 2009. Today we have special guests for this. We have Alexander Katz and his two younger brothers, Nicholas and Joshua. Let's hear it for them. Yay! <laughs> oh, sorry, and we also have Nat. Hey, Nat. <laughs> and of course, like normally, we have on the, uh, like, I think of myself as the flavor of flavor of chess, and let's give it up for the Chuck D of chess. Let's hear it for George Grasser. Hey, George. How are you feeling, George? Good, very good. It's, it's always a pleasure to see you. Hey, I'm all, they noticed they got me all the way over here in the back. Come on, give me a break. But you know what? We are guaranteed, like, normally we can't get guests for the show, and now we got two billion guests. What's up with that? And you know what? We were just discussing that. We should have more women, uh, uh, you know, because you were saying that uh, women should play chess. And that, that's true. They should play chess. What's up with that? I know. I mean, I know the Polgar sisters play, and I know the girls from Chess Divas play, and I know that um, that, that supermodel, that Russian supermodel plays. What's her name? Ah, it's okay. We had pictures of her. But uh, there should be more, darn it. And uh, also, do you know this is a live show? People can call in. Our number is, uh, you know... I'm going to embarrass myself by not knowing the number, even though we do the show every day and it's the episode 57. But darn it, Nat called in yesterday, I mean last two weeks ago, and he, he was wanted to get a game on. And uh, this young gentleman's going to play, so why don't we get straight to the action? Okay, Nat, it's your turn. Dude, you're on. All right, show the overhead action. Oh, sorry, you're supposed to be... overhead action. Yes, okay, button. so what's going on? Pawn to e4. Pawn to e4, hi, caramba. And you're gonna back that up with what? Pawn to e5. Holy smokes, I don't believe this chess action going on here. Alexander has challenged the center. Oh, Alexander has... Ned has played knight to c3. Alexander has made a very bad... Uh-oh. Alexander plays knight Wait to Wait a second. Three. Hold on, can we pause here for a second? Hell, he just uh, moved his knight. Oh, knight to f3. Hold on, I, I gotta step in here. So why do you okay. say that your brother's just made a very bad move? Uh, because I don't like e5, so it's a bad move. Why? Uh. You just have it in for e5? It, it's, uh, it's... Not a strong move? Yeah, basically. It, there's semi-open positions are better, in my opinion. Okay, well, who has a higher chess rating around here? Uh, he does. Ah ha <laughs> hey. uh, What's your chess rating? Okay, and yours? Two thousand eight. Dude, dude, you're gangster. What's yours? Damn. Okay, wow. okay, darn. Okay, darn. Excuse me, folks. Hey, you know what? People can call in 212-757-1483 if you want to call in and uh, talk to these young chess masters and also George and also Nat and me. I <laughs> break You know what? Everybody has these chess ratings. I ain't got nothing. I I ain't got jack squat. I can't even get a decent position in, in, in this room. Look at me. I'm over here in the back. Hold it, Alexander. Your rating again is two thousand eight. Two thousand and eight. Expert. You can hold. Can't you can't you get it one more so you can have two thousand and nine? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Get one more point. I'll try. <laughs> All right, go for it. All right, so dude, so you are a level of expert. Yeah. Dude, how do you feel? Pretty good. Do you just like kick people's butts? Like people want to challenge you? People come up out of the woodwork I'm like, oh, I want to play you. Uh, no. No. Oh, well, <laughs> you expect it. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Uh huh. So Alexander has played knight f6, so this is called the four knights. Four knights. Defense. Okay. Bishop e5, this 
standard move, attacking the knight at c6. So Nat, what exactly are you thinking? Is this, is this Well, I'm just trying to find some, some weakness as the game goes, and I'm trying to develop what type of strategy I'm going to use, you know, what side am I going to attack, you know, attack the king side, the queen side. Mm-hmm. So that... Have to worry about what, what, she, she's not gonna find a weakness. Oh yeah, <laughs> there is no weakness in this extra. Oh, <laughs> but even though you were you were mocking well. your brother's earlier move. <laughs> well, this is this well, position. Wait, 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 I want to hear anything. Yeah. It's uh, it gets it, the center after e4, e5. It gets sort of you know bored, <laughs> which is why I place a semi-open position. Uh huh. You want you want more stuff to happen. You're yeah. looking yes, for you're exactly. looking for some more action. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What's up? So this position is dull. In fact, it's almost completely symmetrical. Uh huh. Had Alexander played bishop to b4, yeah, it would be castle. Okay. Would be symmetrical. And now there's some castling action so going on. Ned Castle. She yeah, see, I told you, it's a dull position, so it's a boring position. Ouch. Okay. Oh man, I cannot believe the mockery going on here. The mockery <laughs> of the score. <laughs> Alexander just played pawn to d6. This is so <laughs> Ned, is, Ned is. Oh, then we're gonna have to get you in the chair next if you wanna. You wanna take on your Ned brother. Oh, let, let's do wins first. Come file. on, let's see what's going on here. Alexander is putting his king into safety by castling. Uh huh. Wait, wait. And, and, I, just, just, and, I, and I just played pawn to king rook three. Okay, pawn to h three or pawn to king rook three, depending what type of notation you use. Mm. Preventing black's mm. bishop going to g four. Or king's knight. Now, do you have any commentary, sir? What, what do you feel the game is going? How do you like it? Bishop to b7. all theory right now. It's all theory. Okay, here. He My just last move boring. was pawn to queen, yeah. queen rook queen three. Okay. Isn't this position boring? I cannot disagree <laughs> with your assessment. Yeah, it's boring. See, I told you. It's boring. It's I want to see what you think is, hold it. What, what do you think is the most exciting chess player out there? Uh, I don't follow chess players. Okay. To a6. You just yeah, play the game. Just yeah, I play the game. Eight. So it's all about just playing. There's no, 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 nobody. Is there a chess uh, chess player that you like? Uh, Michael Tall. Michael Tall. Any of the old school people that you dig? Yeah, that's an older person. Oh, I mean, I mean, like really, old, like old books, book old or something. Just the Justice Bishop. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fisher. Fisher. Okay, cool. Hmm. Hey, Fisher had some exciting games. Yeah, uh -huh. but I like tall the huh? most. Yeah. Attacking mastermind. Uh huh. <laughs> Who's your favorite chess coach, Joshua? Uh, I mean, uh, Levitina. She's my chess coach. That's wow. Just why she's my favorite? Is she a okay. supermodel? Uh, no. Okay, because you know, I, there, there's oh, this other, three, this four. other. Uh, chess, chess uh, master. Uh, is striking in, in the center she's by Russian playing pawn to d4. Impressive. Now what's going on here? George. Action! Yeah, now there's action. Point. Now it's finally. Right. Right. Now it's not a dull right. game anymore. Yeah. yeah. Now it's not boring. Okay, good. <clears throat> it's become interesting. What's going on here? Uh, Battle for the center is taking place. Yeah, basically, it's d4. It puts another pawn to center. It's a. It's a. I would say it's a good move. It. There aren't very. Uh oh! Wait! 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 Okay! Wait! You're moving too quickly. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. And now I'm playing knight takes pawn. Uh huh. You got, you got something to back that up? Okay, let's see what's going on. because he didn't want to lose his pawn on d4. Okay. What can happen? I tell you, I'm taking a back seat over here because I got to just check out the real. <laughs> let, let, let the big boys play. I mean, all right, you, you guys are a little younger than me, but still. All right. Alexander's trading Wait. off a bishop for a knight. He's and here comes the queen. Yeah, and the He's queen. Giving up his just... two bishop advantage he had. Uh, queen. The queen? Holy smoke of moise. Uh-oh, Rook's sliding over. <laughs> What's going to go down next? Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Oh, that's good. That's uh, stumped you. What what could possibly happen? <laughs> I guess it's not boring Why it, nah. it isn't. Okay, let's see. The end games are nice. And that is and pinning uh, the oh. F6 knight <clears throat> to Alexander's queen. Mm-hmm. Alexander doesn't want doubled pawns, so he's protecting that knight. Wow. Mm. Wow. Dead silence. You could you could cut cut the silence with a butter knife. 
<laughs> well, chess is exciting, but it's exciting in your brain. Yeah. So it's a game for intellectual. Oh, is that that feeling I was having? I, I, I don't know. I thought it was just gas, but it's not. Really. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, wow, Ned is really coming after Alexander now. Striking in the center. He's actually attacking. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Pawn to h6. Alexander plays mm. kicking the bishop. That's got it. The knight pins. Yeah, pushing up very cautiously. Mm. Let's see. Will you move or will you take? Mm hmm. H4. Maintaining the pin on the f6 knight. We might actually get a game done this episode. Yeah, no, they're playing very quickly. Whenever we do, we don't have games. <laughs> we quick. never finish a game ever. <laughs> Queen to e8. Oh, Alexander's boy. putting pressure on Ned's e4 pawn. <clears throat> Something's got yeah. to give. Uh oh, you see something? Well, uh, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, you know that you uh, you guys could call in right now and get in on the action. The number is uh, uh I I forgot. It's all good. Well, it starts with two one two. I know that. I know. One. I know it's a seven five seven. Uh, fourteen eighty three. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys could call in right now if you want to get in on any of the chess now action. Alexander didn't want double pawn, so he recaptured on f6 with his rook. Mm hmm. You wish you could have what? Evaluate positions like this. Uh -huh. Is it just happening too fast, or do you need time to like look it over? Uh, I need time to look it over. Oh, uh, I see, I see. You start evaluating positions when you're 1600. That's why I don't do it. Oh, evaluating positions. But I mean, when you're up a queen, I can even evaluate it. Oh, to on to e5, striking. I can't even evaluate the position if Alexander's up a queen, he's winning. Mm. <coughs> well, let's see. <laughs> he's, he's back over. Alexander's <coughs> setting up a defensive position right now against the e5 pawn that's advanced. So let's see. So you're 1350, right? You said you were 1350? 1355. 1355. Sorry, dude. I didn't want to take away that last five points off of you. But um, so at 1600, you'll be able to evaluate positions? Uh, you can do it earlier than that. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of like D&D, &D, right? you know, D &D like all five. of a sudden. Like, at, at this next level, you get all these different abilities, like Magic Missile and, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah good. Missile. Never before has dead silence been so loud. <laughs> <laughs> I think those are just groans from the ground. Traded pawns to e5. Mm -hmm. And recaptured.
Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is all moving way too fast. It's all too much. <laughs> Roll to D8. And then? Attacking Ned's knight. So and Ned defended it with pawn to C4. And that's what it saw. Roll to D8. Mm -hmm. So you predicted that was going to happen. <laughs> His yeah. knight was weak. Mm -hmm. So I figured attack. Can you telepathically speak with your brother while, while he's playing? <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, Facial twitches or things like that kind of just send mm -hmm. Do you guys do any have any other hobbies other than chess? Uh yeah. What do you do? Playing sports. Uh, Playing sports? What kind of sports? Uh football. Football, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you? Math. Math. You're gonna be an accountant or something like that when you grow up? No. What'd you like to be when you grow up? Um a mathematician. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite mathematician? Is an Isaac Newton a mathematician? I don't think he's a science guy. John Conway. Just say John Conway. John who? Conway. Is that, is that your favorite mathematician? Um, I don't study mathematicians. I never <laughs> Oh, but you like sports. So what's your, who's your favorite sports guy? Uh, you learn anything. Uh-huh. Oh, that's an easy answer. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. To tell you the truth. Pawn to F6. Alexander striking the E5 pawn. Holy cow. <laughs> His brother's looking at him like, shush, come on, I got it, I got this, I got this, man. <laughs> now, do you have any other hobbies? I know you're in the middle of playing and all. all the, maybe I'll ask you after you make your move. Do you have any other uh, hobbies other than chess? Uh, yeah, mess. What do you do? Math competitions. Math, t math competitions? Yeah. Whoa, what goes on over there? Um, you solve mass problems. So they break out like these, I think you have to like do some proof. <laughs> Complicated stuff. Not always. <laughs> Not always. Definitely. So cool. Well, well done, man. Thank you. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I don't know yet. Eh, you're lucky. You can, you, you can, you can do anything you want. How come you haven't asked me what I want to be when I grow up? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think Big Pimpin' is as far as it goes. Yeah, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid, but I don't know. You don't want to be a what? I know what I'm going to be when I'm What? Okay, I'm check be this out. Ned has set up a tactic. That, that could also kick butt in chess. Yeah. 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 The Alexander best, has to be very careful. The best wide oh, receiver yeah, yeah, yeah. that can make a catch better than Dwight Clark. Uh, Ouch. Oh. And mm. be a grandmaster. Mm. Ow. Now that's a good combination. Mm. Okay. Best wide receiver. Do you also look over their st statistics and stuff like that? So, uh, Capture football pawn. statistics? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Statistics, yeah. So you're saying he has to be really careful right now. Well, he did the move before, but Alexander took care of it the right way. Okay, very yeah, good. But if he didn't take that knife, then I was going to do something drastic. Okay, yeah. well, wait. Hey, it's on and popping. Now what's going on? Rook's up. <clears throat> now Ned has lost a pawn. Yep, down uh -oh. a pawn. Two. Down a pawn. No, I can't be. <sighs> Now, when when you and your brothers play, like you know, who how, how do you guys do? Uh, I. He always wins. <laughs> that does not Ned has decided to trade rooks. Mm -hmm. Whoops! There it is. Alexander the rook is gone. now offers the queen trade. Are you gonna take it? Mm. No. Uh. He's recommending you don't do it. <laughs> but when you deal or no deal, he's saying no deal. <laughs> deal when you're down no in material, it's normally not wise See? to trade. Yay. Yeah. Well, that's that wise stuff. Right. Thanks for that uh, little bit of information. Yeah, I was writing all of that lot of stuff. I just wanted to just get all the information. Mm. Mm. Oh, Ned decides to trade. I'm surprised. Yeah, I was. Um... I knew it was a good move. 
Now what happens? Alexander just recaptured? Yeah. We weren't close on time. I would fly like with like an hour show, oh, then I, I would have stayed with my queen. Okay, well, what you gonna do? Oh, wait, 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 he sees a good move. <laughs> okay, was that the move? Uh, no. No. No, for black. Oh, for black, okay. I think he's on, I think he's got it. <laughs> he's, I got this! <laughs> yeah, he found it! Dude, he was gonna totally clown you if you didn't make that move. Can you believe it? Your little brother totally dissing you because you didn't make a move. Hey, I'm okay. I'm smart. Well, it puts pressure on the defense. Oh! Okay. Leaving Ned with no choice but to mm, play yeah, the pawn up for Push forward. up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he found that too. <laughs> There's only a few pieces left on the board. Josh, I know, I'm so, sure. I'm pretty sure that. I know, but he okay, saved it. Okay, now what happens? Hmm. He's not very now good. Now Ned's in big trouble because if he goes yeah. down two pawns, it's a hopeless position. Oh no, what's going to happen now? And because of my ex, he wins. Yeah, of course he wins. He's about to take a pawn. <laughs> another, another pawn. So. There he's about Two pawns and a, and a king and pawn ending is fatal. Okay, Yummy. so it's, you're saying it's done? Chomp. Yeah. This yes, it's done. Finished. And? Chomp. Of course, because we never finish the game on this show. This is just now, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> then what happens? Oh, and it looks boy. like it's done. Yeah, it would, be, it would not be a good idea if you didn't take the rook. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh, we like to take it to the bitter end on chess now. Because we've never gotten to the end of the game yet. <laughs> Well, technically the game's over. There's nothing that can be done. So now it's just for fun. Yeah. Took it out. Alex and I will probably lose. Hey, you never know. He might. He might suddenly uh, something okay, might no, happen. He's not gonna lose. No, he's not gonna lose. Well, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, he won't. Yeah. I was just thinking of. of ah, like, yeah. I was thinking of in like awesome opposition type of women trying to end up. Let's see who will end up after the game of water pot. So what's Alexander trying to do right now? Well, he's trying to move. I mean, oh. he's trying to get the opposition. Waiting moves. Yeah, waiting moves basically. Waiting for his king he's trying to move. I mean, wait. Okay, okay to something's gonna get. A, uh, eventually, yeah. queen is gonna come across. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's gonna get a queen now. Mm-hmm. There's no way to stop him either. You want to go? Okay. Try, try to stop him on the, on the queen side. Is there any chance for a stalemate or something? No. Maybe no. later. Maybe later when a queen is made. Oh no way! He's not gonna. He's not dead. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. But I'm sure there's maybe a possibility. Yeah. There's a possibility, but it's very slow. <laughs> yeah, mathematical. Mathematically, what would you say is the the, the chances? Zero. Oh, zero. Yeah. Yeah, basically zero. Maybe. Right. Oh, I know. Maybe. I oh, 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 point one. That's the chance of it happening. Like, maybe one in a billion times. All right, there's the queen. You can see it. Ninety-nine point nine. No, it's not. He's not gonna. Oh, he is. Okay. Check. Oops, sorry. Now there. Check. How are these? Oops. Now we're gonna do. Run. run for the board. <laughs> He's running. Like no. Uh -oh. That's what they do. You hold oh this thing, I'll make you try and run to the corner. Okay. <sighs> Jeez. Oh. I predicted she would win the game. Look what happens. G5 check. Mm -hmm. Give me the F5. Mm hmm. Dun. Alexander made a new queen. Dun. Sorry, I'm doing the. Things from what's his chest game on the check, computer. Check them. Yeah, he found it. Check them. Check. Queen A6, check. What? Oh, let's go oh. make a new one. Dude, you're not going for the mate? Oh, yeah. No mate, no, eventually. He's zero with two queens. True that. He'd rather have it. He's got all the time in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well uh, capture all his pawns first. <laughs> I love when people say that, you know, once you get your first queen, you can't get a second queen, you have to pick a different piece and have to have it be, but it could be queens. Yeah, you, you can have, have two queens, queen. you can, can have, have four queens. Can you have as much queens as you want? Yep. You have eight queens. Can I have a queen, I just take all the pieces. Oh. Oh. 
I'll take all my opponents first. Checkmate. There it is. Yeah. Finally, a game done on chess now. All right, let's see. You guys do the handshaking hey. thing here. Congratulations. Right on, oh, right yeah. on. So great. All right, a little chess analysis over there. He held it out. He stuck it out like a good boy scout. Uh, how are we doing on time, guys? How many? A minute and a half left. Yes, at last! Wow. A game finished on chess now! Thank you so much, guys, for coming in. Here. Uh, I'm choking myself here. Right on. Well done. Now, um, do you guys have any shout-outs or anything like that? Now that you guys are here, we got like a minute or so to say what's up. You want to say what's up to your chess posse or your math posse? What's up? Well, this is with ICA. Where do you get the shirts from? Who gave you the shirts? Uh, Diana. Diana Tolman. Diana Tolman. All right, so she's like, wear the shirts! Don't forget to show the, you know, plug! You she, know. Has, she has a chess program in what town? Uh, Fairlawn. 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 Fairlawn, New Jersey? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. How is the chess over there? Uh, pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. Do you guys have a lot of uh, uh, trophies and stuff like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You adorn the, do you have a trophy room or do you just like keep them in your room? No, we do um, have a trophy room. You do have a trophy room. It's in the living uh, room. We now, no, no, no. If if you come in third or something, you, do you just throw that away and just like don't you keep the first? And, uh, <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. You keep it all. Not at all. all. Yeah, we keep in most them all. In most places, third place is pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Yeah, in some some places. Uh, now, now, do you see a lot of girls uh, playing chess? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No. Yeah. Well, not as much as there could there could be. There in my could opinion. be. So, so what what do you think stopping the the female race from playing chess? I don't know. Uh, I I know exactly what it what? is. What? Dolls. The brain. Uh, what? The brain. They don't. They do. They do not believe that they're smarter than boys. So, so you mean that they're? What? I, I believe they are smarter, or uh -huh. just as smart as boys, but they don't oh. think they are. So you believe that they're being brainwashed by yeah. the universe? They're Gentlemen, being would you, brainwashed would you agree with that? With no. no. Uh, Instead of using their intellect. Uh huh. See, he's agreeing. <laughs> and he's a, maybe. Oh, I said maybe. Oh, maybe. Okay. So, uh, yeah, well, the probability, is some mathematical probability that that girls believe that they can play. Let's. Oh, I mean, the Polar Sisters. You know, they're good chess players, and the chess divas. They're 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 great. They're highly rated, right? Yeah. Judas Polaris, so Simpson Polar, and the other person. I have no idea what mm -hmm. her name is. Well, they're they're darn they're darn well -tated. Look into them. Uh, actually, you can see chess divas on on YouTube. So look that up. Check out their show. It's quite wacky. And very say, hey, there's the credits. Woohoo! Oh, hey, what happened to the credits? I want to see my name up. All right.